All right, guys, listen here. So season one for Black Ops Cold War just started. Go down below, drop a quick like, and if this video smashes 5,000 likes in 20 hours, I'll give away five battle passes over on my Twitter. You guys are not following my Twitter already? It's right here, at right away. Go follow. And uh, yeah, don't forget to smash a like. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Season 1 is here, and I know you guys need some COD points. Today's video is sponsored by Boost Gaming. With Season 1 dropping for Black Ops Cold War, we are getting a new battle pass filled with DLC weapons, camos, blueprints, operators, and more. We are also getting the Warzone integration, and all of the Black Ops Cold War guns are moving into Verdansk. Boost Gaming is a trustworthy destination to purchase just digital gaming products that have come directly from the source. Boost is the place to get digital power-ups for the biggest brands in gaming, such as PlayStation, Xbox, and more. One-off payments and no need to store payment information on the website either. Boost is all about giving you a great gaming experience, and the best part is that it's ready to use instantly on your phone, tablet, computer, or console. I know I'll be doing a ton of giveaways when Season 1 drops, and I'm definitely using this site because it's trusted and comes directly from the source. Click the link in the description to directly support me as a creator and check out all the amazing power-ups you can purchase on the website. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, right now it's 2 a.m. I'm up really, really late. As you guys can see right now, season one for Black Ops Cold War has just begun. Battle Pass and everything just went live. Uh, I, I think I actually get the Battle Pass for free because I pre-ordered like a certain edition of the game. But hey man, welcome to the Battle Pass. Continue. How does it work? Season one Battle Pass comes with a hundred tiers of new content, including over 20 tiers that are free for everyone so that's really really dope tiers are unlocked by playing multiplayer or zombies in black ops cold war or by playing modern warfare or warzone so like you can literally play any game you want and, and progress through this battle pass and, and level up how do i unlock the pass you already have access to the free tiers just by playing oh we also get a free bundle in the store wait hold on. wait yo the store in black ops cold war looks exactly like the one in, in modern warfare oh my yo oh we got so many new bundles this gold sniper looks crazy Oh my god, this gold mp5. What is going on here? All right, so there is a crap ton of new bundles. Oh, is this the free bundle? Rebirth Island free bundle. All right, I'm gonna claim this bundle for free. Claim bundle. <laughs> so many new bundles. Hey, this looks like the Galil. Oh, and finally they added support a creator to Black Ops Cold War. So if you guys are on Black Ops Cold War and you want to add my supporter creator code, it is RAID, all caps. This directly supports me. If you guys plan on purchasing anything in the item shop or purchasing the battle pass, once again, that's completely up to you guys. But if you do want to support me even further, you can put in my supporter creator code. Tweet me pictures on Twitter if you guys actually use my code. Wait, tier 40? What the hell is going on here <laughs> put me to tier 40 so let's go through the whole battle pass just to kind of see what's in it uh we get the black ops one mixtape i think that just plays all like the black ops music which is pretty interesting uh calling card a double weapon xp we got the queen weapon charm got a blueprint here i think this is for the type 25 so that's pretty interesting we get some cop points uh wave dasher is this a uh oh it's a new vehicle we got a reticle which is a tactical nuke logo yeah okay so here it is tier 15 the mac 10 this is a free tier so you don't have to buy the battle pass to actually unlock this weapon but this is one of the brand new dlc weapons in the game a new submachine gun the mac 10 uh, i'm definitely pretty excited to use this i'm pretty excited to see how this thing competes and i'll uh, probably be having videos uh of course on the new dlc weapons a sniper right there okay we got some double weapon xp too i'm glad they added these uh these double weapon xp and double xp tokens because it takes a while to grind man and there's a bunch of new prestiges in this uh, in this season too uh what is this i don't know what variant this is for a bunch of new blueprints though they kind of look like i don't know pretty average uh tier 31 though we have the graza this is the brand new assault rifle here full auto assault rifle excellent handing speeds uh with improved damage fast fire rate and fair damage range uh, i think this is going to be one of the top contenders to be honest in black ops cold war multiplayer definitely excited to use that we'll have a video on that very very soon moving on though we got some more variants here i don't know i feel like the variants are kind of uh, you know underwhelming in this in this battle pass right here to be completely honest with you guys i haven't really seen anything spectacular like at all i'm just kind of you know reviewing this battle pass just to show you guys exactly what's in it give my opinions about it uh, I, I feel like a lot of the variants in the stores look a lot better than the ones that are actually in the battle pass so yeah there's a hundred tiers in this one just a lot of calling cards a lot of see yeah, i don't know man the variants are not really hitting for me honest oh this one looks kind of cool prototype that's basically what i'm interested in when i'm like kind of looking through the battle passes you know I'm, I'm curious to see what the the weapon variants are what the blueprints look like and everything like that uh so far like i said i haven't seen anything 
too spectacular. We're gonna move on here. Tier 89. Uh, it's actually a pretty cool variant for the uh, for the XM4 right here. Tier 95, we get a variant for the Mac 10 submachine gun. And my God, okay, this actually looks pretty damn clean. I'm not going to lie. Uh, all right, I like that. Tier 95 variant for the Mac 10. And I think there's a variant. Wait, what is this weapon charm? Wait, Servant of Doom, hello? All right, that's kind of crazy. Tier 100, though, you unlock Stitch, which is the brand new operator. He actually looks really, really crazy. Kind of looks like Bane to me. Uh, tier 100, we get a an epic uh, skin, an epic blueprint for the new Raza. Damn, this thing looks really, really clean, though. Okay, cool. It's, of course, they make, like, the DLC weapons look the coolest, to be honest. And then Season 1, boom, there you guys have it. So that's the whole entire uh, battle pass right there, which is pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think about it. Hey, bro. <gasps> oh, this blueprint right here. For the AK-47? Oh my god, that is spectacular. So yeah, the weapons in the shop look a lot better than the ones in the Battle Pass. I will definitely stand by that 1,000%. Uh, the Battle Pass was a little bit underwhelming for me personally, so I mean, it's completely up to you if you want to buy it or not, honestly. I'm not going to be here telling you guys, you know, you have to buy it. It's the best thing in the world because honestly, it's really not that crazy. So in Black Ops Cold War, uh, Nuketown Holiday is a playlist as well as Raid the Mall. You get to play the Pines map as well as Raid. So I think I might drop into a match of raid just to kind of play it because i really really just want to play it uh for this video all right fellas so we spawning in on raid i i, I listen i'm on ps5 right now I, I usually play pc with controller you guys know that but i'm on my playstation 5 right now because you can't play raid on the pc you get an error code every time you try to spawn in got him half time bro I just spawned in. From the looks of it, uh, Raid actually looks really, really fire. I think I might edit this class in a real quick. I might change the, uh, the barrel. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to do the rifled one. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Yo, from the looks of it, Raid looks beautiful. It, it's pretty much directly from Black Ops 2. I'm gonna try and turn up here on Raid. Damn, yo, my team just killed the whole, my teammate just killed the whole entire team. This guy's probably gonna push through. Hello? All right, let's get it, man. Push me, push me, push me. Oh my god. Yo, this is bringing me back. Crazy vibes right now. We got a UAV. First time right away playing on raid. This is an historic moment in the right away YouTube channel. Hey, it looks so good though, man. Oh, someone's right here. Got him. Oh, come on. Someone on my team's got like a, a chopper or something, man. These guys are probably gonna try and come through. Yeah, there we go. Damn, I'm on a little eight kill streak right here. Someone on my team has like a chopper or something. Oh my god, so fine. Oh my god, got war machine. Wait, we about to get we about to get a VSAT. No! Oh my god, no, I, I just capped so hard. Hold up. Alright, let's get him. We got another streak right here. We lost B. Hello? Dude, the whole freaking team is here. Hello? Got him. Let's go. Alright, let's get him. I almost got a harp. I'm so mad that I failed my uh my war machine. Let's go. Why are you sitting in the corner, bro? Why are you sitting in the corner? Alright, we got a harp! Let's go. We might actually lose this game. I'm gonna pop the harp. Oh my god, the whole entire freaking team is here. Got him. I'm behind this guy. Hey, bro, stop running. Hey, bro, stop running. We got a guy sitting in this corner. This dude's just... Okay, hold up. The whole team is here. The whole team is literally right here. We got him. Let's go. We got him. Let's go. Okay, bet. Yo, Raid is playing so well, and we have a harp, we have a VSAT, we have a Blackbird. Nah, man. And we got another war machine. Let's get it. Turn up. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, no, that's spawn protection, though. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna try and jump up. But, oh, no. There's a nade. Sheesh. Let's get it. I'm playing with a PS5 controller right now. I knew it, man. Oh, my. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Raid. Uh, this is pretty freaking nuts. I'm just so happy that it's back, man. I wanted to make a video just to kind of go over, like, the battle pass, go over everything. Uh, but we're going to be having a ton of content here on the channel, man. Uh, we got videos covering the brand new DLC weapons, which is going to be pretty hype. Hold up. There we go. Got him. I'm dead. No. Yeah, we're going to be having a ton of videos covering the brand new DLC weapons. Uh, I'm probably going to be having a lot of Warzone content as well, man. So if you guys are excited, drop a like, subscribe, man. Oh, hey, I just spawned in. Hey, I'm getting spawn trap now. You know, we got the trick shotters. Trick shotters can go right there. Uh, it's the same map, dude. It looks so clean. Let me know in the comment section if you guys would want to see, like, uh, a map from, like, an older Black Ops series game come into this game. Uh, I know a lot of people are saying they want to see, like, you know, Firing Range, Summit, you know, uh, Hijacked, all that stuff, man. Also pretty certain that the, uh, the wall bang here works. So if you guys have a sniper and want to try to hit, like, a clip or something. If, does wall bang? Oh, yeah. Oh, pfft, the wall bang works. Oh, my God. Oh my god, the bison feels so good now. I cannot believe it. Is that it? 
Hey, GG, man. Let's go. Hey, guys. That is Season 1 of Black Ops Cold War. There's the Battle Pass. There is Raid, because I had to play Raid a little bit. If you guys enjoyed, man, make sure to smash a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'm going to have a ton more videos on the way. So stay tuned, and I'll see you guys next time.